Converting a geometric series to summation form. In this problem, we have a geometric series, and we're going to convert that to a summation form that looks like so here. Step one, identify the first term, number of terms, and common ratio. The first term here is four, and we're going to use A to represent that. Then the number of terms, we have four terms, and we're going to use N to represent that. And the common ratio is the number that we multiply to get from one term to the next. And in this case, it's 8. 4 times 8 gets you 32. And then 32 times 8 gets you 256. And we're going to use R to represent the common ratio. Step 2. Substitute into our summation formula. For n, we have 4. And then 4 minus 1 is 3. For a, we have 4. And that is 4 here. Then r is the common ratio, and we substitute in for 8. Now i is going to start at 0, and we can do a test to see if the first term it matches, and also the next. So 0, 8 to the 0 power is 1. 1 times 4 is 4, so that is 4. Then i becomes 1. 8 to the 1, that's 8 and 8 times 4 is 32. So th those numbers, they correspond. The next problem we have is an infinite geometric series, and we're going to convert that to summation form. Step 1. Identify the first term and common ratio. And we don't need to identify the number of terms since it is an infinite series. The first term is 6 then the common ratio is 3. Since 6 times 3 gets you 18, then 18 times 3 gets you 54. Then we substitute into our summation formula. For a, we're going to substitute in 6. And then for r, we're going to substitute in 3. And we can do a test just to make sure the first two terms correspond. i to the 0 power is I mean, i equals 0. So 3 to the 0 power is 1. 1 times 6 is 6. Then i is equals to 1. 3 to the 1 is 3. 3 times 6 is 18. So, so far they correspond. And it looks like uh, we are in good shape here. And this completes our problem.